Hey everybody, this is the fourth year, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to create some glass bell sounds using Citrus and the Additive Harmonic Editor. Um, so here's you know a quick example of the type of sounds that you can make using this idea. Um, so that's one, and here's a couple others. So I personally think that you can make you know, some pretty nice sounding synthesized glass bell sounds uh, using this technique. So let's take a look at how to do it. And it's actually really quite simple. The first thing you want to do is load up a citrus and open the default preset. Then go into operator 1, turn on the pluck option, and then give it a nice volume envelope so that it sounds like uh, a bell being hit basically. So typically something kind of like this, uh, maybe nice and long, or maybe shorter. And if you want it to, you know, keep playing even after you release the key, uh, what you can do is delete, you know, that last point, the sustain, and then it will just, um, have a nice long uh, release time to it. Basically, the entire thing will be the release, so it acts as a percussive sound. Then, you know, all you have to do is go into the oscillator harmonics tab in operator one, and give it whatever harmonics sound good to you. So, you know, you can experiment with it. Uh, I, I like to kind of keep things a bit spread out with the harmonics. I think that that makes it sound more bell-like. And, you know, so already you can hopefully hear that it's kind of sounding like a nice glass bell sound. If you want to, you can really take your time to kind of edit the harmonics and make them sound exactly how you want them to sound. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to do too much just for the sake of keeping the video not too long. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of, of how to kind of do it. And then, you know, it just takes some time, some patience to adjust things until they're sounding how you want them to sound. And so from there, you know, you can process it however you want. If you want to add some unison, definitely can do that. And, you know, edit the harmonics however you think is best. Um, and if it feels like it's, you know, the stain is not quite enough, you can kind of reduce the tension in that envelope. So yeah, a really easy way to get a pretty cool sound, in my opinion. You know, hopefully that's helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials and I try to release new ones every week.